The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine has posted a video of the destruction of a Russian tank that tried to storm the positions of the 30th separate mechanized brigade named after Prince Konstantin Ostrovsky, the tank of the Russian occupiers, which brazenly tried to attack the positions of the 30th mechanized brigade, will never attack anyone again. The general staff has not specified the date and place of the incident. Analysts estimated that Russia has lost at least 8,044 units of military equipment since the beginning of the full-scale war. Russian tank losses mount in face of Ukraine drone grenade tactics. Russia is losing scores of tanks with Ukraine's military developing a range of new tactics that include grenade dropping drones. Military analysts told the National. An estimated 64 main battle tanks and 37 armored fighting vehicles have been destroyed by a range of weapons, but in particular British supplied modern anti-tank weapons. Military experts are also baffled by the brazen Russian tactics in which tank commanders advance without infantry or artillery support, making them highly vulnerable to ambushes. The Russians have lost every single type of tank so far bar the T-90M which is the most modern tank in service, said Sam Cranny Evans of Rusi, a defense and security think tank. From the Russian perspective, that means some of their most capable and elite formations have been caught up in the fighting and suffered losses. The huge 64-kilometer armored column, stalled for over a week outside Kiev amid food and fuel shortages and attacks by Ukrainian troops, has been seen on the move again. New satellite photos appeared to show the massive Russian convoy outside the Ukrainian capital had fanned out. The purpose of the latest move was unclear, though Russia is widely expected eventually to try to encircle the capital. Хватит курить, где попало. Курите там, где еще не... 71st Brigade's drones assisted the artillery in accurately hitting the Russian armored vehicles. Artillery of the armed forces of Ukraine struck the precise shots at the Russian invaders' armored vehicles and personnel. The Russians were first detected by the aerial reconnaissance operators of the 71st Brigade. The drones recorded the CP location of the enemy's platoon support point and nearby armored vehicles. The servicemen released a video featuring the combat operation. The Russians placed their camouflaged positions in the forest. Not far from the dirt road, the Ukrainian reconnaissance drone detected several units of armored vehicles. At least two BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicles, along with the Russian military and fortifications, were caught on video footage. Upon detecting a cluster of Russian invasion forces, the Ukrainian artillery opened fire. The results of defeating the enemy were recorded by a Ukrainian drone, which was likely adjusting the fire of the armed forces of Ukraine artillery after the strike. One BTR-82 or BTR-80 wheeled armored personnel carrier, which was previously not recorded on video, was on fire in the middle of the forest. Russian armored vehicles are on fire, the enemy platoon stronghold is destroyed, and Russians are running with panic through the bushes. The drones of the 71st Brigade hunted the prey again and aimed our artillery at it, the 71st Brigade wrote. 71st Brigade is a military unit created immediately after the beginning of the large-scale invasion of the Russian invaders into Ukraine. Since then, the soldiers of the brigade have been facing the enemy in the hottest areas of the front. As previously reported, the armed forces of Ukraine neutralized and seized a modernized Russian infantry fighting vehicle. The Ukrainian military hit BMP-1 AM Basurmanin of one of the units of the Russian Federation invasion forces.